Welcome to Lessons with Mr. Clark. Today we'll learn about rounding and comparing whole numbers. Two skills, one video. Okay, here's a little rhyme I like about rounding whole numbers. Locate your number, look right next door. Five or higher, add one more. Four or lower, just ignore. Okay, so let's do that. Locate your number. Look right next door. Five or higher, add one more. Four or lower, just ignore. Kind of a catchy little rhyme to help us with this. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna show you this first one on a number line, and I want you to draw this number line too, just to kind of practice this skill. Okay, so we have this number 53. We're going to round it to the nearest 10. So if we have the number 50 here and the number 60 here, think about where 53 would be. 53 would be about right here. So we're going to round it to the nearest 10. Is 53 closer to 50 or 60? Well, it's clearly closer to 50. So we're going to locate our number. 5 is in the tens place. Look right next door, it's a three. Is it five or higher? No. So we don't add one more. Four or lower, we just ignore. My answer is 50. If it's exactly a five, 55, yeah, it would be exactly between 50 and 60. We have decided in math that we round up if it's in the exact middle. Okay, look at this next example. Round 638,768 to the nearest thousand. Okay, so I'm going to locate my number in the thousands. It's an eight. Look right next door. I'm looking at the seven. So we're going to have to decide, is 638,768, is it closer to 638,000 or 639,000? This seven tells us it's five or higher, so we're going to add one more. It is closer to 639,000 because of this 7. It puts us closer on our number line. You don't have to draw this. I'm just showing you. We could round to other digits, but in this rounding example, 768, somewhere over here. So it's closer to 639,000. Okay. Round 879 to the nearest 10. So I'm looking at my 10s digit, the 7. Then I look right next door to the 9. So closer to 870 or 880? Well, it's clearly closer to 880. That's my answer. All right, round 750 to the nearest 100. Here's that example. Okay, so the 7. So it's either going to round to 700 or 800. If we think of a number line, it's actually exactly in the middle. So we said in this example, we're going to always round up. My answer is 800. Okay, we're going to round 38,484 to the nearest thousand. So it's either going to be 38,000 or 39,000. Looking at the four here, four or lower, just ignore 38,000. We have to add those zeros. If we don't have those zeros, it would just be 38. Around 5,677 to the nearest hundred. Okay, so locate the number. The six is in my hundreds place. Look right next door to the seven. The seven is the boss, you may have learned, so it makes the six go up higher. 5,700. That is how we round whole numbers. Okay, let's compare two whole numbers now. So we have these signs here that you've seen before and worked with before. This first one is the less than sign. This third one down here is the greater than sign. The way I remember the difference between those two, I'll show you two ways, but a quick way is this kind of looks like an L, like the word less than, kind of a shortcut. Okay, this next one looks like half of an equal sign and a full less than sign, so it's either less than or it could be equal to. You don't draw a whole equation sign, just part of it. So then this one would be greater than or equal to. All 
All right. So, how do we compare whole numbers? We look at the highest place value. If they're different, that'll be your answer right there. We don't have to worry about any other place value. If they're the same, we go down one place value, so that means we're moving to the right, until they're different. It's that simple. Okay, so let's look at the two numbers that we have here, 288,464 and 76,352. It can help to line up the commas vertically, so you can just see both numbers. Okay, I've got them both lined up. Notice there is a 2 in the first one's 100,000. We don't have any 1 in this 100,000, so we could just annex a 0 right there. We can always annex zeros to make them the same. Okay, so look at the highest place value. Highest place value, the 100,000s, is a 2 or a 0. Clearly the 2 is bigger. So 288,464 is greater than 76,352. Is it greater than or equal to? Yeah, but this is by far the best answer for that one. All right, another way I like to look at this, and you can see my drawing skills here. Um, looking at these two symbols here, I like to think of it like an alligator, like the alligator's eating the bigger one. There's my drawing of an alligator. See the mouth? The mouth always eats the bigger one. It's a greedy alligator. Or if you want to do a Pac-Man, that works too. All right, looking at this next one, 2,838 or 2,836. Uh, let's line them up vertical just to practice this skill. I know you guys can do this one in your head, but I'm all about the fundamentals. You shoot layups before you shoot three-pointers. Okay, so look at the highest place value. They're both twos. They're the same. Look at the next one to the right. They're both eights. Get rid of those. Then they're all both threes. So now we're just comparing the eight or the six. The eight is bigger. So our Pac-Man or alligator eats the bigger. 2,838 is greater than 2,836. Okay, the next one we have a list of four numbers. Let's go ahead and line them all up vertically. If you want to do it at the bottom of your notes, that's fine. I'm doing it up, up here to the right. Line up the commas. Sometimes there's obvious ones that just kind of stick out. Okay, the next thing I want to do is annex zeros. So the first number, 654,789, goes all the way to the hundred thousands. So let's just annex zeros so they all go to the hundred thousands. Okay, so now that we see that, we're gonna look for the biggest hundred thousands. That's clearly this one. So we can go ahead and put that all the way to the biggest. Okay, and we can cross that off, we're done with that. They're all zeros. Then we go to the next place value, the ten thousands. There's a one, one, zero. The zero is clearly the smallest. So in my list, I'm going to put the 7,590 all the way to the left. Now I just have to compare 11,324 and 14,019. So the tens was the the same, so now I'm looking at my ones place value. Or I'm sorry, my 1,000 place value. So 11,324 is bigger than 14,000. 19. I don't want to separate these with commas, or that'd look like a really big number. So I'm just going to put less than signs all the way through. When you finish, always make sure it makes sense. Which would you rather have in money? Well, the biggest one over here. 7,000 something is less than 11,000 something. It's less than 14,000 something. This is way less than 654,000 something. All right. In conclusion, today we learned about rounding whole numbers and comparing whole numbers. Thanks for joining. I hope you have a great day.